as a club, got a great track record in the FA Cup over the last 20 years of upsetting the odds from... Not from in the league. last three years, yeah. <laughs> from upsetting the odds from the League One and the Championship, now you are a, a Premier League team. Do, do you feel you can do something in this year's competition? Well, you, you're in the competition to go as far as possible. Uh, as I said, desperately disappointed last year. The record hasn't been, hasn't been great. There has been priorities uh, at, at, at this club. Um, to first of all get out of uh, out of League One, we got knocked out early doors against Bolton in that in that uh, in that campaign. Um, knocked out at Leicester, um, and obviously last year was disappointing. Um, but now we will see where it takes us. It's a, it's a, it's another game, and we'll assess. As I said, we'll pick a side uh, on on a couple of different uh, various various aspects uh, of, uh, of of what we're doing. Um, but you know, who knows? You just keep winning and keep winning, and we've got to get through a, a, an extremely tough, tough tie. You know, I think anybody in the Premier League gets drawn away to Millwall would, 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 would recognise that is a well. Any team would recognise that is a really tough tie to uh, uh, to to get over uh, and and, uh, and and get through, and uh, with their past record. And how tough it is down there, and them going extremely well under Gary, in um, in in the championship. Yeah, just how impressed have you been? They're only five points off third at the moment, one defeat, and I think it's thirteen games. Just how impressed with the job that he's done since he took over from Neil Harris? Well, it's a tight division. Obviously, it was a it was a a, a change. You know, Neil had been there for a few years, and worked extremely hard out of out of League One, playoff final into into the championship. You know, finished there there. Their season uh, that they finished above us was a was a remarkable achievement. We thought ours was a decent achievement, finishing in the, in the top ten and going to the last game of the season. You know the run that they had in the second part of the season was incredible under Neil, and then the change through Ga to Gary, who's an extremely you know uh, good manager and successful manager, all change and tinker, uh, but not too much. You know um, added some players in, l lost a few players, but. You know, it's it's as I keep saying, it's still Millwall, uh, but under a slightly different approach. But it won't change too much. Um, competitive, um, but you know, we'll we'll play and, and try and open you up. So, uh, you know, as I said, Gary's you know worked in the, worked in the Championship um, for for a number of years and uh, been at some big clubs and you know going well and and and, and pushing obviously to go into the playoffs and above. Had some really good battles with them, particularly down there over <laughs> over recent years. I remember the one last year and David McGoldrick's late winner, the the three two. That was some game. Yeah, it was a great game for us. Um, uh, first year, obviously, Jack O'Connell and ball uh, in, in in the ninety first minute, um, or whether it, whether it whether it was didn't deserve to get anything from the second game. Great great finish by Brooksy, but they they overpowered us in in the second game, and I thought we were excellent last year. Up at half time, they come roaring back. Uh, we dominated the second half. Um, did he score with a penalty and got a last minute winner? And uh, they're always popular those last minute winners and uh, in front of our punters. And yeah, it was a great, great result in in in, in what was obviously a, a fantastic away campaign for us for us last year. But still, as I said, the the how tight the game was 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 there to be seen. And uh, and I'm sure it's going to be just as tight on on, on Saturday afternoon. I know you won't take the game lightly anyway, but the number of Premier League scalps that, that Millwall have taken over recent years, that'll just, just add to the, the the sense of taking this game extremely seriously. I enjoy these games. Um, uh, I, I, I really do. Um, it's a different type of type of game um, from from Tuesday, you know, um, but we have to approach it, you know, in, in, in the same manner. I thought the commitment to the game on Tuesday night was 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 excellent. Um, it was a proper Sheffield United performance. We could have done a little bit better with the opportunities that we had, but it was front foot. It was aggressive. Um, it was positive, and um, and and the players are going to have to produce that on 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 Saturday. And yeah, they've they've knocked out so many Premier League teams, and uh, they'll be looking to do the same to us. Um, I I I don't like inconsistency. In attitude, in wherever I've managed, I really don't like that. It's one of my pet hates, um, and uh, it's really important that our attitude is spot. If we get beat, we get beat through 
you know, a, a mistake or something brilliant from them or go, their goalkeeper playing really well or, or, or us not playing as well as we can do with the with the ball or whatever, but not not on attitude. We won't be found wanting on attitude, and uh, and that's that's really important to me, uh, and and the group know that.